Right, as I said, fine detail. Morning YouTubers, Facebookers and Instagrammers. Lovely cold morning, still as you like. Great skies today. So I'm thinking to myself, by the way, I, I put up a post this morning saying to everyone, I get an awful lot of messages asked me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and I do struggle to keep up with answering some of them sometimes. So if you do ask me a question, persist if you don't hear from me, I do apologize. Um, but anyway, what I was gonna talk about attention to detail. I'm very much about detail in what I do. I'll spend a lot longer on things than most people will, but I think that will always pay off in the end. I do a lot of my, certainly my retrieve based training on a very small amount of ground. Don't need a lot of space at all, but I will work tire, tirelessly at perfecting and getting something immaculate by, before I move up in distance. I was chatting with a client yesterday, we were talking about faults and different things that come up. Just to give you an example, if you, for example, were doing a blind or a memory or whatever, and you send a dog and the dog runs out 20, 30 yards and spins and looks at you, it's normally telling you it doesn't really understand. And that fault will normally come from pushing the dog on too quickly. You've got to be patient, increase very, very small incrementally. And if the dog spins and looks at you, I'll tend to call the dog back. Step forward, make the retrieve easier. I'm not going to encourage that fault. Otherwise you might end up saying back, 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 dog keeps spinning, back, back, back. It's not the end of the world, but if you can do it in one cleaner cast, 40, 50 yards, then that's ideal. Not that you necessarily need to be doing 30, 40, 50 yards, but I'm just trying to give you an example anyway. But certainly with all my retriever base training, I like to get a really immaculate finish before I'm worrying about doing distance. If you get the finer detail really in place, <clears throat> the, uh, the distance can increase very quickly. But if you increase the distance quickly before you're having the refinement, you probably will never have that. And it might not crop it, uh, sorry, it might not show its face up till quite a lot later on. And then people say, well, how do I fix that? And it's like, well, the reality is you really need to go back. And for a lot of people, once they've got that far, in most cases, they're unprepared to go back and spend a lot of time doing donkey work at the beginning. So don't be in a hurry to go up in distance. Focus on quality detail at close range and that will pay you off in the future. Um, with hunting, same thing again. I tend to uh, you know, keep to a confined small area. I'm not giving the dog a lot of freedom, I'm trying to focus around that retrieve, get that dog hunting around that retrieve. You've got to get that in place before you start letting the dog romp around. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But anyway, as I said, fine detail. Work on that. And uh, if you get that all in place, spend a lot of time doing that, that will pay you off in the future, guys. Anyway, enjoy your Friday. Get out. Enjoy the weather until it starts probably raining next week. Anyway, don't forget also, if you want any help with online coaching, drop me a message and I'll do my best to help you out. Catch you later, guys.